So I took a little time from the teardrop camper to uh, get my golf cart ready. And this is a 1989, much like the blue one y'all saw me do. And I wasn't really going to shoot any video on this. But this one just didn't fall into place like the other one did. The other one, I shot a couple of coats of paint on it. Didn't like the color change color. It's not a big deal. So when I went with the blue, the blue came out just fine. This one with the red, I had to shoot it three times. Sand it down and shoot it. And I'm still not pleased with it. Although it's rust oleum, and it's probably never meant to have an automotive finish. So let's go in here and take a look at it. I have, a, you probably remember in the other video, I uh, had to reshoot the cowl because I put it on too fast. I didn't wait for, uh, you're supposed to shoot a little bit, let it dry, shoot a little bit, let it dry, shoot a little bit, let it dry, so on, so on like that. And that's what I did with this one. I finally got, you can see a nice sheen there on the side and had all kinds of divots and stuff in the, in the inside of it there. It's really not too happy with that. And this has a big indention under it right here. And the way I got most of it out, I took a board about this long, that wide, and put some contact cement on it let it dry and then put it up under there and stuck it and that gave it a more solid structure because it was old and sloping and you know just old age is 34 years old so it looks better it doesn't look best uh, i'm okay with it and uh, i painted the power charging inlet i didn't want to take it apart i thought eh, it looked fine so and it looks good now, I was gonna get ahead of myself and go ahead and put my fender flares back on. And there's a little bit of a, the fender has to fit down in that groove and this part right here has to fit up under the inner fender skirt. So I'm gonna wait until the paint cures more and then put that on there and then, oh, I'll take the inner fender wheel out and put this on, put the inner fender wheel back instead of rough housing it to get it in. And that's what I did when it was unpainted. When it was of color, now it has some more color in it. But you can see inner fender wells here. Let's see if I can pull it down. Then we'll put those on later. You can see right here where I nicked the paint. I just barely hit it with that plastic. Knocked the paint off of it. So with this rust oleum, you're gonna have to wait probably a, at least a week good hot week for it to uh, cure otherwise you're just going to be nicking your paint and this is like I say by no means it's no automotive finish but you should be able to see right down there <coughs> how that looks and of course my truck doesn't look much better right now because it is covered in pollen and sawdust <coughs> but um it came out good enough for a 34 year old golf cart that's not worth very much and new batteries on it got some wiring <laughs> it has the original alpine stereo in it that the the one owner i got it from put in there i don't even know if it works don't care don't listen to the radio that much so oh and the next thing is uh, you see i got plenty of clearance on the back on the front wheels i'm gonna have to I bought an extender to extend the frame forward two inches, but since this is an 89 model, I have to change out a bunch of parts, and uh, I have those parts. I'm just decided I'm going to save that particular part, the frame extender, for a, another golf cart, and then I have the other two wheels that match those that'll go up here. So I'm just going to raise the front up two inches and be done with that because I don't put too much money in it so when I go to resell it I can make a little a little bit on it all right thanks for watching you guys uh, if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up hit the like and subscribe button thank you